Alright, so um, I'm going to do a quick little thing showing how to uh, add a Discord RPC to um, a project. Because <laughs> I'm um, doing this for someone and I, I just thought like why not show other people how to do it. So I'm going to leave two download links in the description and then you're going to want to download those. They're going to be these two things. So we're going to need those and then we're going to go into your project. You want to go to reference libraries and then right click build path configure add external jars and then we're going to add those two things. So it'll be this I think and this. So just click on that open. We'll add the other one too. That should add both of them. Yep. All right. And then we just click apply. And then just apply and close. And then they should be right here. <clears throat> so those are the two things we need. And it just froze. So, uh, <laughs> okay. So those are the two things we need right here. Then we can close this. All right. So I'm probably not going to do this in the best way, but we're just going to add a new package and go dot. Just say dot rpc then in there we'll go new class and call it discord and then i just copied this from one of my clients um this you're just gonna put your discord id i'll show how to do that in a second so if you don't already you're gonna want to go to um discord.com slash developers and then you'd make a new application and then like we'll go on Discord, uh, I mean Postman. <laughs> um, it looks something like this. You'd have your client ID, which is what you copy and paste into here. Um, if you go under rich presence, you can add an image and then you can use that image like mine's called postman logo so for large image key it just says postman logo and then there's text which is when you hover over the image it'll show text mine just says hi and then you have your details um just write whatever you want like a description or something and then the actual name will show up as whatever the name of this is so um yeah all right so now to um initialize it if you're doing a client I'm just using my client as a example because I know a lot of people are probably using a client you would make it a module so um, here you go discord rich presence it would look something like this um, public void on enable discord dark dot start rpc and discord dot stop on disable um it's fairly simple so uh yeah uh so in the case of this i would go into here and just go under init and write discord dot start rpc there's no real way of enabling and disabling it and something like this at least for that i know of i mean yeah. So uh, now if we launch this, it should hopefully work. I'm not sure. All right, so now it is loaded. Um, if we go to Discord, yeah, all right, it's working. So that's cool. And then if we go back to here, if you're doing it as um as a in a client. Uh, you would just like, I don't know if you have a way of enabling it. Um, in my last client tutorial, I just used keybind, so you change this to like um, R or something, and then you would just click R, and it would show that you're playing whatever you wrote. Um, and then you click it again, and it disable. So yeah, cool.
Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Um, bye.